application walkthrough. I'm going to give you an overview of ServiceNow Agent Workspace application. What are its modules, how exactly end user sees the application, that is what I'm going to show you. So let's take a look. This is my personal developer instance. In order to go to Agent Workspace, you need to type here Agent Workspace. So you will see this application. So the name of the application is Agent Workspace. Now under Agent Workspace, you have different modules. The first module we have is Agent Workspace Home. So if you remember, uh, like in, in our, one of the video, I mentioned uh, just the application that how exactly this application looks like and what, are, what is exactly the home page user sees for this Agent Workspace. So this is exactly the Agent Workspace. So if you will click on that Agent Workspace Home, then you will see this page. It shows some different configuration, which we are talking about. And as you see, like we can go to list, we, we can go to search, and we can also see the different like data we have, or maybe RQ, uh, so open request, or maybe CMDB. That's what you can see here. Now, the next module we have is Agent Workspace Guided Setup. So as I mentioned earlier, ServiceNow has like provided you the guided setup for Agent Workspace as well. So if I click here, it is loading. So now it is showing me the Agent Workspace Guided Setup. So it's saying, and I can click on Start button. So I'm just clicking as of now. So I clicked on Start get started and it says the different settings different configuration you can do in order to implement agent workspace in your organization so if you are implementing agent workspace first time in your organization so i would definitely recommend to use this agent workspace guided setup which would definitely help you step by step process to implement agent workspace in any instance so you can see it has like different steps you can configure like different configurations as per your requirement so for example if you don't have chat uh, in your instance if you're not using it then you don't have to configure it um, if you if, if you don't have like uh, CTI calls like calls directly handled by service now then you cannot configure it so it depends on the instance you have and the kind of uh, functionalities you have enabled in your instance the next uh, module we have is settings so if you will click on settings uh, this will show it and this setting will show like for example new record menu item that what exactly the menu items will be for example if if i will uh, click on that new button then what exactly it will create that's what you can select right here and then we have like new button list exclusion now what is excluded from that new button that's what you can mention here then we have like notification triggers so if you want to send some notifications like ui notification triggers then you can mention those triggers right here then we have new record menu now if you remember we we saw that new record menu items and settings that you can configure here so as of now it is just showing the interaction then we have search sources so if you will click here whatever search you have in a global search and wherever it searches you can mention here all the sources the tables the kind of data you want to fetch while like agent put the keyword in that global search it will search in these tables and and show you the results then we have this form settings uh, where you can like do rib ribbon settings you can do form header settings then you have lists under lists you have list categories and then list filters so these are like kind of configuration and settings which any uh, agent workspace admin can do if you have provided that agent uh, workspace underscore admin role and even if you are a service now administrator then you can also uh, perform these like changes and, and do the configuration as per the requirement from your customers and clients let's talk about the settings and configurations which you can do in agent workspace 
So the first setting which you can do under tab settings is configure the new record menu items. So let's take a look. So if you go to personal developer instance, and if you click on the settings module, you will see these uh, two related lists. The first related is, is related to the record menu items, the new record menu items. As of now, interaction is selected. Now, how you, how exactly you will come to know that why it is showing the interaction. So if I go to agent workspace right here, I have this, if I click this uh, like plus button, you can see it says add new interaction. So as of now, it is creating a new interaction. Now let's go to uh, this setting and let's try to create a new, uh, new, menu item so if i click here now it is telling me uh for table to select so uh, let's select uh, ticket I am submitting it. And let's go to our home page. If I refresh, now this time you can see it is not showing you that interaction uh, option because you have selected a new option, add on option. So if I click here, it will ask me, do you want to create a ticket or you want to create interaction? So you can create multiple menu items for this new button so that it will ask you. So I hope you now you understand that why ServiceNow came up with this agent workspace. It is giving an opportunity uh, to, uh, to a IT agents or agents that they can directly, and it is like pretty much fast, uh, they can click this button, whatever things they, they want to create or any, any record they want to create, which they create daily, they can just select it right from here. So if I click on ticket, it will load the ticket form. I can fill up the details and I can save it. Another setting which you can change for tab settings is prevent new record creation from a list. So if you will go to the instance, we have the second related list where all these tables are excluded to show the new button. So if you will go to uh, the agent workspace and if I go to list now, these are the lists you have. So any agent who would be able to see these lists. So if I click on, for example, assign to me. Now, as of now, you will see that I'm able to see this new button, but there are some tables which are excluded to show the new button. So what I can do, I can, for example, if I click on servers, in this case, you will not be able to see this new button and the reason behind it because you shouldn't create it. So it's just kind of a uh, kind of it's kind of a functionality which is related to the visibility or kind of access level for your agents that if you want them to create new record for that particular table or not. So as it is as per the uh, requirement and situation you have in your organization. You can also perform the changes and do the configuration for lists. So as you can see, you can see the different lists in agent workspace. So if you will go to the instance, you have this list. Now you can also do some changes or change some settings for this lists. So if you will go to your UI and then under list, you will see the list categories and list filters. So the first one is list categories. If I click list categories, you will see these are the categories we have like task, SLA, incidents, request, catalog task, and CMDB. If I go here, that's what I have. Now these are categories and you can define yourself and list whatever you want as per your requirement from the customers. And then we have list filters. So the second one is list filters. If I click on list filters, this shows me all the filters for that particular section. 
now as an example you can see we have assigned to me or if i go to my agent workspace i have now these are my categories under task i have my work my group's work and this is picking up everything from here and it also shows it also shows that mapping that what kind of uh, category it should like put this particular list or filter where exactly in which under which category and if i open this so let's try to open this you can see it's it selects the table it also selects the condition at the same time it also shows the columns that ex that means if i go to agent workspace and if i am on for example incidents now under incidents the columns which it is showing me it is as per the selection which i have or maybe as per the settings which i have selected in in that list filters that is what you will see right here so this these are the settings of agent workspace lists you have which is visible by uh, it agents or agents working on service now instance